Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. So Ryan Garcia continues to uh, be a menace on social media and basically outside of boxing as basically his wife is granted a temporary restraining order against him. Apparently, Ryan Garcia threatened to, uh, to delete her and her family. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, media doesn't pick these type of things up because it's Ryan Garcia. And then you have a lot of these fake content creators. And this is what I mean. Like, these dudes ain't about nothing, man. I was listening to something that uh, Goodfella Sports TV said uh, about, you know, the community in, g in general, the black community that doesn't exist. We can't stay on cold to save our lives. We want everybody to like us. This Internet thing did been been. I, I don't know, kryptonite to a certain extent, to a certain degree is helped black people but then in a certain degree it's made black people go backwards we've you know what i'm saying we haven't progressed but at the end of the day you just see how these dudes are willing to just compromise themselves they'll do anything for popularity and views no integrity you know they don't have no problem tearing down black people attacking black people attacking black fighters just to get views just like you got these bitch ass niggas on here always caping for Caitlin Clark and shit. You know, at the end of the day, you know, um, it's just sad. But, you know, they're not going to say anything because it's Ryan Garcia. I promise you, if it was a brother, you would see so many videos talking about somebody been uh, given a restraining order. And this is why I'm going to stop talking about black fighters that get in trouble with the law or have some kind of kind of you know, incident. Cause it's funny. These people come on here and say, did you go talk about man? Fuck y'all. Don't tell me what to talk about on my channel. Like I say, the reason why Ryan Garcia is, you know, why Ryan Garcia has to pull in the influence is because he's not held accountable. You had a bunch of these, these sorry ass boxers, you know, like, uh, Floyd, uh, Coonfield sitting up making excuses for him. And you had a lot of people begging to talk to him somebody say they want to kill my race my people i ain't got nothing to say to them i ain't giving them a pass i ain't saying they need help and all that stuff but then these is the same people that you know these are the same people that attacked Devin haney for doing what he was supposed to do which is protest the victory that ryan garcia had because ryan has something in the system we can sit up there and come up with all the conclusions and 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 how i got in the system it was in the system and ain't no way you can get around it but, you know, at the end of the day, people talking about Devin Haney was acting like a bitch. Certain fighters, nah, you was acting like a bitch being a coward and not calling Ryan Garcia out for, for, for cheating. But, you know, it is what it is, though. You know, probably his wife is going to, you know, get the restraining order removed. Ryan Garcia is going to give her some money and that's going to be it. And she going to say that she's going to get it removed and that they're going to try to work it out. I know how this, this works, you know, but like I said, if Ryan Garcia ha thinks he's untouchable and nothing's going to happen to him, well, guess why he feels he can do that. Like I said before, you had a lot of these coward content creators didn't say nothing black at that. Once somebody say, and then for him to say he was trolling, now nah, you don't say no stuff like that. And sit up there and bring up George Floyd and all that kind of stuff, because I could sit up there and talk about a lot of lousy Mexicans that did some foul stuff. And I'm not saying this is, I'm not saying all Mexicans, because all Mexicans are not, not bad. But at the end of the day, Ryan Garcia make his people look bad. And he posed to be a representative, but then at the same time, you don't have people call him out. But then everybody want black people to be held accountable. They want black people to call other black people out. And this is why I'm falling back on that. Y'all don't have the same. Y'all have selective smoke and selective outrage. So fuck y'all. Don't tell me what to say on my channel. This dude gets a complete pass. Then you got people coming on here saying, well, you know, I want to move on from this. You don't tell me what to move on from. Fuck you. And your whole family. And everybody that's there with you. That's just real talk. But, you know, ain't nobody going to make no videos about this because they only care when it's a black person. 
and that's just the honest to God truth. But don't sit up here and tell me, don't make this about race. Don't You don't get to tell me what to talk about. You don't get to tell me what I can discuss and what I can make something about. This is my channel. You don't like what I have to say on my channel. You can stay the fuck off my channel and don't ever bring your motherfucking ass back on here. That's just real talk. It's just amazing. Amazing. This dude gets away with this stuff. Sad. It, it, it is pathetic. These dudes will come on here and say, oh, oh, Floyd's a woman beater. They love to holler about what black dude is a woman beater allegedly or had issues with women and call somebody out their name. But I don't see none of you Mexicans calling Ryan Garcia a woman beater or, you know, or a terrorist because he made d domestic terrorist threats. Said he gonna join the KKK. You dudes are sorry. You black content creators. You guys are pathetic. Stay off my channel, man. Don't ever contact me. I don't want to do no collabs. I'll stay in my lane. You stay in your lane. You're sorry. You're pathetic. You're weak. You're cowards. You're gutless. And that's all that need to be said. And, you know, at the end of Ryan Garcia, his luck gonna run out eventually if he keep playing these type of games. You know, Eventually, he uh, eventually, uh, uh, eventually, he gonna roll the dice and he gonna crap out if he keep acting the way he acting, because he's just building up a long trail of incidents. And the thing is, he keep doing this because people don't hold him accountable. So at the end of the day, don't hold me hold me accountable for, you know, supposedly holding my people accountable. Y'all never have the same energy. It's always a double standard with you cornballs. And that's just real talk. But anyway, let me move on. This your boy Town. I'm out.